the truth is you are wanted and the truth is you are seen i don't want you to ever think that you don't mean a thing to me you are so loved and your presence is so sweet so do me a favor when you want to leave i'm here just lean on me so this year my word of the year or my phrase of the year i should say is running towards the roar inspired by a therapy session that i had at the top of the year possibly the end of december actually i had a situation come up i had this opportunity present itself a part of me was just kind of trying to weigh out all of my options i typically i'd be looking for signs i'd be looking for <laughs> for reasons to opt out of things like i just don't have time to play in regards to if uh if this is truly not for me if this is an attack on my well-being on you know me as a person my spiritual my emotional my my mental my physical well-being then your girl is out and so like i need to know these things before i commit and so what i love so much during my therapy session my counselor was challenging me she brought up uh, this podcast that she listened to. The podcast host was talking about this author and speaker pastor named Levi Lusco. He wrote a book that is entitled Through the Eyes of the Lion. And it was a book that was talking about his experience of, of grief. He had lost his daughter tragically and unexpectedly. The premise of the, the book was running towards the roar. For him, his roar or the lion was grief. Me and the counselor were dissecting all of this. She was just basically talking about how in our lives we face lions. Lions uh, could be grief. Lions could be feelings of inadequacy. Limiting beliefs. It's going after the job it's putting yourself out there to make new friends and plugging into community it looks like having a gift or an idea and not wanting to share it it could be going out on a date it could be you know lions having a hard conversation these are lions and lions are a part of life right as humans we have the tendency to either run away to cower the whole fight flight freeze appease ordeal naturally i've been towards i've been running i've been running and i no longer want to run i no longer want to run i know for sure there's somebody out there who also doesn't want to be a part of the running club instead what we need to do is call it for what it is and just be honest embrace the feelings and the emotions of being scared of being anxious of being um possibly upset uh, whatever that feeling is for you. So to be completely transparent, I have an idea for a children's book. I have songs that I created and I want to share them and I want to be the one to vocalize them and express them. But I find myself being scared to put myself out there and share those ideas with others. I definitely do believe that it comes from some type of experience that I've had to where I am not vocal and expressive when it comes to my ideas, but I no longer want to, to stay there. So this is why this is so important to me to run towards the roar and encouraging others to do the same, doing it scared and essentially just pursuing all types of, of things that I'm interested in and, and not counting myself out mentally not counting myself out. So the reason as to why we have to nip this in the bud is because we only have one life and there is so much inside of us. Come join me. Let's run towards the roar together. We're gonna to make this interactive. We are going to hold each other accountable. We are going to support each other in this process of running towards the roar. One of the ways that I am dedicating to making this happen in these videos, I am going to share a way that is helping me go towards the life that I want to live. I'm also going to be intentional about showcasing those people that I have noticed that are in my circle and sphere that are doing exactly that 
in their different ways so if you struggle with trying to find the perfect gift just something that you want to have kind of like a custom personalized touch to i have the perfect business for you ret customs is a personalizing company that specializes in making personalized items from cups to t-shirts to cake toppers to goodie bags to party favors i was like to pillowcases you name it this business is for you so if you have any questions about how you can get in contact with ret customs to personalize your next thing i will leave all of that information down in the description box below on my first running towards the roar task I entered into my local library's writing contest that they were hosting. My objective and goal for entering into this contest was to take a leap of faith and to run towards the roar by sharing this piece of work. Since the only people who had access to this entry were the judges, I'm going to take it a step further by sharing it with you on this platform. But before I do, I would love for you to leave in the comments below what is the thing or the things that you are feeling prompted to run towards? Truly, there are no limits, so let me know how I can support you. And without further ado, here is a poem entitled Checking In. You've come across my mind many times now. I've delayed myself from checking in and asking how you've been. The thought of really sitting down and taking the time to rummage through the thoughts and doubts, I would rather not. It's been a combination of guilt and shame and time to time feelings of inadequacy, beating myself up about what you possibly might say. In my head, between ear and ear, I hear, I'm fine, just trying to survive, let's just not go there, not today. And even the extreme, oh, now you care? Let me guess, you're only coming around to get something from me. Since when did you start concerning yourself about my well-being? This was never my agenda, to keep you at a distance. And my heart aches at the thought of not allowing you the time and space to really express yourself, to fully be free and release. I'm detecting a sense of oppression in the form of suppression with a hint of deflection. But here we are right now, being grounded in this moment with the purest intentions to finally have a chance to explore and express. This time, I will not ignore your voice or your simplest request. Let us take the risk of bearing past the surface and moving forward towards the process of unraveling. You've come across my mind many times now. I've delayed myself from checking in and asking how you've been. This time, I want to make it right by saying, Hello, my beautiful friend. How are you doing? It's been a while since you've been around. Tell me, how are you feeling? I would imagine given the space to really speak, you would say to me, if we're honest, it's been hard for me to breathe. The pain is surrounding and I find it easier to leave. I get it. Words finally put into language that I can truly understand. My dear friend, you are not alone. With these words so real and valid, I hear you and believe me when I say, the truth is you are wanted and the truth is you are seen. I don't want you to ever think that you don't mean a thing to me. You are so loved and your presence is so sweet. So do me a favor when you want to leave, I'm here just lean on me. 